What's up, people? Hello, everyone. How are you guys doing? I hope all of you guys are doing good. What is up? What is up? How is everyone? All good? Please give me a quick yes, if you guys can all hear me and see me. Unfortunately, I can't see your messages. One sec. All right. Can you guys all hear me, people? Hi, Trishna. What's up? Hi, Maitli. Hi, Anushree. Can you guys all hear me? Uh, I'm not able to see uh, the replay. I mean, I'm not able to see myself, but can you guys all hear me now? Hi, Deepak Ji, what's up? Yes, Suma, what's up? How are you doing? Hi, Amrita, what's up? Now, welcome, welcome, guys. How are you people doing? All good? Welcome to today's session. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Let me just check what exactly is the issue here. Uh, am I audible? Can you guys all hear me? I don't know what's happening. Yes, finally. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hello, everyone. How is everyone doing? How are you guys? Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Audible, no? Awesome. Hi, Jashwan Ji. What's up? Da? Welcome to today's session, people. So, yes. How was your day so far? What is new in life? How is everything going? All great? Hello, Par Parambir. What's up, buddy? 90 here. What's up? Da? How are you doing? Hi, Tamrito. How are you doing? Hi, Ananya. Hi, Jashwan. What's up? What happened, Jashwan? What happened? Everything okay? Did someone scold you? Tell their name, da. Tell their name. Tell their name. I think it was done. Just, just forget about them after that. So is this study plan for physics for pretty much all subjects, not just for physics. Right? You can use this for every subject. The study plan I'm going to talk about in today's session is going to be for all of the subjects that you have for your term and examinations, physics, chemistry, bio, math, English, social science, everything. It's applicable for everything. It's going to be a general term one study plan. All right, so excited for today's session, people. Are you guys excited to know something interesting, do something interesting, learn something interesting? And if you haven't started yet, are you ready to start with your preparations for term one examinations? Can I get a quick, a loud, oh yeah, in the chat box, people? Give me a, oh yeah, yeah, as for kids. Oh yeah, as for boys and girls. So yeah, good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, or good evening, I think it's good evening, no? Anyways. All right, that's the Josh. That's the Josh, people. All right. So first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Anup Manoharan. I am a master teacher of physics here at Vedantu. I am an aerospace engineer by profession, and I've been teaching for almost five years now. All of the tips that I'm going to tell you today is from my fa past five years of experience. Whatever I have learned, whatever mistakes I have done as a kid when I was studying, whatever mistakes my students have done, all of these tips today are going to be based solely on that. Whatever experience that I have had in the past five years, it's going to be based on that. And again, it's all, you know, these these times itself are, uh, you know, not uh, something that everyone is used to. The pandemic and your exams being, uh, you know, divided into term one and term two. So few things have been uh, customized according to what is the current situation so i hope you're going to find this super duper helpful but yes guys with that said i would like to start this session with a very simple quote and the quote is this guys if you're afraid to fail then you'll keep failing forever now guys all i want you to think is this your exams that you're going to write don't have this fear that you're going to score less don't have this fear that the exam papers are going to be difficult because there is a saying that says that fear kills more people than death itself. And that is true. Fear kills more people than death itself. So please don't be afraid of your exams. Please get rid of that fear first. If you are able to, you know, to overcome that fear, more than 50% of your work is already done. See, it's not that none of you guys have not attended the classes. It's not that none of you guys know the chapter. It's just that... You are not able to think very clearly during that pressure, under that pressure, under that three hour pressure, you might not be able to think about it clearly, but it does not make you any less intelligent. It does not make you any less smart. It's just that under that pressure, you're not able to do it. It's all about that fear. So get rid of that fear first. All right. So that's it, guys. Let's get into what are the tips. The first tip I would like to say, tell you is this. Make sure that you guys are preparing for your exams. Yes, one of the most important tips. Because guys, here's the thing. If you are prepared, your anxiety is already gone. Your anxiety is already gone. You have lost that fear already. You don't have the anxiety of what type of questions are going to be asked. 
because you're prepared for it no matter what is the type of questions that is that they are asking it's all about your preparations how how well are you prepared how well are you prepared is going to determine your anxiety level and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys here have felt that anxiety that you guys are prepared you've studied all all night long you've been sitting in front of the book you've been practicing a lot of questions but when the time of exam comes as soon as you see the question paper as soon as you see the teacher handing out the question paper you start feeling that fear you start thinking that oh i have not prepared enough oh i feel like oh no i i, I don't remember whatever i've learned you start to doubt yourself how many of you guys have had that feeling at least once in your life you are you you are prepared but then you feel like you know you feel like you've forgotten everything in that one particular minute you felt like or you feel like you've forgotten everything that you've ever studied for the past one month or for that past one day that whole night that you've prepared everything everything feels little blurry right you guys have felt that no even i have felt it even i have felt it the reason why we feel it guys is because of that fear that i talked about that fear is what is making you feel that and to get rid of that fear the only solution is prepare for your exams be it ncert be it question papers the past year question papers be it sample papers be it any source of questions any source that you're getting there are tons and tons of free sources out there guys internet is an opportunity it's a it's an opportunity for you guys it is you know it is so good in some ways that it helps you to give you whatever you need at your fingertips so use that well get whatever source you have you have tons and thousands thousands and thousands of websites out there look for one look for one get those questions prepare yourself because that is what is going to reduce your anxiety second create a daily schedule not just for physics but for every single subject whatever subject it is physics chemistry bio math english social science hindi kannada whatever is your second language make sure you have created a daily schedule for those subjects you would have you should have you know created like you know one hour for physics one hour for chemistry one hour for biology your day should be properly planned it should be a properly planned day it should not be like i'm just going to fling it whichever i feel like studying i'm going to study that today because when you do that when you do that when you feel like okay i'm i feel like studying math today so i'm going to study that tomorrow the next day you're like okay i feel like studying chemistry but when you do that have you not felt like sometimes you don't even feel like studying have you ever felt that you you start like one or two days you're like you're excited you're like yeah i'm going to do it you study one or two subjects the next day you're all exhausted and like okay that's enough i'm going to take a break now because even god took break after 7 days so why not me how many of you have felt that how many of you do that every single day of your uh, you know of your uh, education life you guys do that no that that is a very very common thing it's something that all of us have been through even i have done it i'm pretty sure that majority of you guys do it to kushi you do it what about all the others there are many times no that's that's what happens because you're just flinging it you're like okay today i feel like doing something you know with my hand so i'm going to study math tomorrow i'm like okay i don't feel like writing anything today so i'm going to study physics or i'm going to read chemistry or i'm going to read biology that is something that you should avoid because when you go with your feelings like that say i'm not saying that it's always a bad thing but sometimes your feelings are not always with you because guys you guys are still going to puberty mood swings to are always there how many of you guys were so happy in one second and the next minute you're shouting at your parents tell me honestly now how many of you guys because i've also been through that every one of us have been through that phase where you are happy for one second but the next minute you're like you're start shouting at your mom for nothing for no reason for no reason you guys do that no again why because you're going through that kind of phase that is this is the time of your life where you go through that phase understand that that's biological you can't turn you can't change that there's nothing you can do the hormones inside your body are making you do it just get used to it so what you have to do is get that under control a little how do you get that under control stick to a schedule don't live your don't don't let your brain choose it for you you have to choose it you have to make the choices don't let something else don't let your mood choose what you have to do today got it so please 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 i emphasize this make a schedule and stick to that schedule make a schedule and stick to that no matter what it is even if there is a birthday party out there you have to go out there is you know taylor swift coming to india or justin bieber coming to india it does not matter 
because at that point of time your schedule is more important than every other party that is going on around all right so that is my second tip i know you've heard this a billion times i'm not saying no i am not saying it's something brand new but what i'm trying to say is these are things that you have to do these are time tested i have done it every teacher has done it every friend of yours who is a topper would be following this so why not why don't you do it simple this is the second one please make a timetable third make sure that you divide the chapters according to what you feel is easy and difficult this will help you to figure out how much time you have to send or spend on a particular chapter for example let me talk about physics let me talk about physics okay if i give you options guys you have two chapters for term 1 examination light reflection and refraction human eye and colorful world out of these two chapters which is the most difficult one out of these two chapters in front of you light reflection refraction human eye and colorful world which is a difficult chapter which one is a difficult chapter light because it's much more bigger human eye is a very very short chapter so light would be a bigger chapter understand that not just for physics it's quite simple but for other subjects also biology chemistry for every subject mark whichever chapter is easy and whichever ch chapter is difficult see guys why i'm telling you to do this i'm not saying that every chapter is easy every chapter is difficult no there are few chapters which might have a little bit more information there are few more things you might have to cramp up there are few more practices that you have to do so what you have to do is this guys once you understand that you have to allot the time it is not to scare you guys no the whole point of this to divide the chapters as easy and difficult is not to scare you it is to help you understand how much time and how many hours do i have to give for that chapter for example light you can give you know for example if you are studying light you have to give about 5 to 6 hours if you are studying human eye and colorful world 2 to 3 hours is more than enough so you 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 are dividing this chapter in order for you to understand which chapter do i have to give more time more emphasis so that i can prepare smartly see guys you can you can you can work hard you can work hard all you want you can sit and study for 10 12 hours 14 hours if you want or 20 hours a day you want you can do that but working hard is different working smart is different and at this point of time where you have time for about i don't know hardly one and a half month or two months your intention should be to work smartly not hardly getting it you can work hard you can study for 12 hours a day but will that make a lot of difference i don't think so you have to work smartly so understand which chapter is difficult which chapter is easy a lot time according to that write it down take a piece of paper today itself how many chapters are there how much time do you think would you need and what is the difficulty level of that chapter write it down so that you are able to prepare yourself smartly rather than see guys let me tell you this is it is it do you think that it's uh, wise enough to spend 10 hours on human eye and colorful world do you think it's smart enough to spend 10 hours that is 10 hours of your life on human eye and colorful world do you think that that really makes sense does it make sense obviously not even in the sample paper the num the the marks that was asked from human eye was two marks two more questions there there were only two questions from human eye and colorful world but from light there were six questions so you have to understand which chapter is more important like that because guys again working smartly is more important than working hardly all right that is my second tip the third tip is solve questions there's no other way solve questions mcq questions in particular solve as many questions as you can and like i told you guys there are hundreds of websites out there just type mcq of mcq for physics class 10 you will get 100 results 100 100 plus results try one a day try one link a day download the pdf or set the so you know take a screenshot of the pdf take a if you don't want to see it from your computer take a print out of it if you have a printer at home even better take a print out of it start solving those questions and make sure that you're giving exactly the time allotted in your examination if your exams are basically your science exam is for 90 minutes so if you're solving a science paper give yourself exactly 90 minutes no let me tell you why that is important one thing is you will understand to manage time better you will understand which question you have to give more time which question you don't have to give much time because when you don't when you don't you know when you don't have time constraint no you can give yourself for one question you can give 10 20 minutes also you can do that but in an exam can you do that 
would that be sensible for you to spend 10 minutes on a question which carries one mark do you think it's sensible think about it for a second every question carries equal amount of marks do you think it's sensible for you to spend 10 minutes on a question that you are not able to solve at that point of time does not know so how will you understand that make sure you practice the questions huh? take a sample paper a day give yourself exactly 90 minutes you have you by by then you know if you do it five to six times you know which questions do you you know i'm able to solve it much more faster and which questions i need a little bit more time so solve the questions that you know first then come back to the questions that you do not know of this is my next step so make sure you guys do this all right now remember guys even though in for example if i talk about section a if I talk about section A, there are 24 questions given. Out of 24 questions, you have to attempt only 20 questions. That is the sample paper. That's how it was given. Out of 24, 24 questions, you have to attempt only 20 questions. But again, <clears throat> whichever is the first 20 questions, that is all the board going to consider. They, even if you attempt all 24 questions, only the first 20, 20 questions they are going to consider, not the rest of it. All right. So again, you have to be very smart <clears throat> about what type of questions you're going to attempt in your examination. So this is my next step. The next one is this, guys. <clears throat> whatever, you know, whatever sample papers you're solving, make sure that you're using the simpler methods for example now if you're doing a mathematical calculation let's say you're solving some problems from light uh, reflection or uh, spherical mirrors or spherical lenses let's say you're doing that now there are few few shortcut methods because anyways guys the problem the thing is this there is no step marks in physics or in for example in term one examination there is no step marks because you you only have an mcq question paper you have to either mark a b c or d there is no step marks so there is no point in you writing down all those steps try your best try your very best to you know to use the shortcut methods you know those vedic math tips and all that you're probably studying your lower grades abacus and all of that do you remember that have you guys attempted those those kind of uh, classes in your school like abacus and uh, vedic math or if you just go on the internet itself you'll get you'll get a lot of small small tips and tricks like how to divide by five so go for those go for those kind of use those kind of simpler methods to solve the numericals it'll save a lot of time it'll save a lot of time look for strategies look for strategies what are the simpler ways to attempt those questions rather than wasting your time look for simpler ways direct methods some you know tips some 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 small small namunis some small small namunis like tips and tricks that you can use to crack your exams please use that look for fitments fitments in the sense the uh, some you know some shortcut answers the sure answers there are some sure there is for a certain question there'll be some sure answers no look for those kind of small small questions look for those and remember those practice as many as you can with those kind of questions because again guys it's all about completing your paper in 90 minutes but also doing it right so why don't you work, work smartly? That is the only question. You can spend, see, you can, for example, if I give you a mirror, uh, if I give you a spherical mirror problem, you can use your mirror formula, find out the answer, you can find out the focal length, you can find out the magnification, you can do a lot of that. But don't you think that that would take at least five minutes of your time to solve that one question? At least at least a minimum of five minutes in order for you to solve that question. Is term one difficult? I don't think so, buddy. I really don't think so. I really don't think so. But yeah, it's all about how well you are prepared. How it's about it's about how well you're prepared. It's it's about your level of preparation. If you're prepared, the question paper is definitely gonna be easy. You see that that is what all those type of questions, Maria, even assertion reasoning type, case study based questions. You have lots and lots and lots of content out there. Lots of questions out there. Look for those questions, download it, look for strategies over there, look for fitments over there. That means the sure short answers. Look for those kind of things. Practice those over and over again because the more you practice, the easier it gets. It'll be at your fingertip. You don't even have to think about it. Your brain will automatically go to the right answer. That's my next step. The next one is this, guys. Practice question banks. There are lots of past year question papers. Look for those. Your past year question papers. Try to... See, guys, even though this the last years and all it was subjective based, in previous years it was subjective, the type of questions are still going to be the same. 
even though it was subjective the type of questions that they're going to ask for your term one will be pretty much the same so practice those questions no practice assertion reasoning type questions packed to practice case study based question practice your previous year question papers from light chapter whatever previous year question papers were whatever previous year type of questions were asked practice those as well practice as many number of times as you can i know i'm using these words over and over and over again but yes you have to guys from where you have lots of websites da for example if you want a book there's oswalds oswald is a very good book for your uh, you know mcqs and all oswalds uh, you know uh, mcq question books are pretty good they're pretty good you can also try for see i would suggest you more than going with the the publications no you can go with the websites the reason because in uh, because those books were printed before the announcement of term 1 and term 2 exams were done all right that is the reason they were done they were printed before term 1 term 2 exams were done uh, before they were announced websites on the other hand they can make uh, you know make it they can make easy adjustments they can make it right away so my suggestion would be to go through those websites you have lots and lots of websites out there uh, lots of websites out there download the questions and try those case study based questions you have have lots of questions in vedantu platform itself if you just go to vedantu app or even vedantu website itself you have lots and lots of questions over there itself so why don't you utilize it it is also free it's also free you don't have to pay for it aram so you can utilize those uh, you know opportunities whatever you know whatever chances you have and uh, make the best out of it that's all i can say all right the next step i would like to say is one of the most important one guys the next step is this spend 2 hours per day for each subject i know now the reason why i'm telling you is this guys because for again what happens is when you spend 2 hours per day for each subject you would be able to complete your complete you know you'd be able to complete your preparations in the next 20 to 30 days next 20 to 30 days you would have completed your preparations so whatever time you have left you can use that for revision so try to study for 2 hours a day for every subject be it physics be it chemistry be it biology this way you'll be able to complete your syllabus much more faster you'll be able to cover up your syllabus much more faster so that in the next 20 to 30 days you would have completed your preparations and the rest of the time that you get you can utilize it for revision so this is one way to see either you want to spend 2 hours per day for per subject that's up to you or if you want to spend 30 minutes per per subject a day that is also up to you but if you're sp spending 30 minutes per day for a subject you would have to you know the preparations would go from 30 to 45 days you have to take you you know you're you're taking longer duration in order to complete it so my suggestion would be to spend 2 hours per day for each subject so you can complete because you have a very very short window of time you have one full month this month is almost done you have another 15 days maybe 14 days another 14 days left and then you have a uh, one month of october and then you have a couple of days in november as well so very short period of time so my suggestion would be to complete the preparation first and and then start with your revision so for the next 20 days keep a target in the next 20 days i'm going to complete all of my syllabus first then i'll start with the revision you have to have this target these kind of targets in your mind because that is what is going to motivate you to do better otherwise no otherwise all of this is pointless all of this is pointless me sitting and shouting is good is going to be pointless so it's all about you setting targets you have to put yourself in that position you have to give yourself that target that yes within the next 20 30 days i would have completed my syllabus it's all about that all right so give yourself those targets and try to achieve those targets and every time you achieve a target no gift yourself something even if it's a very very small thing even if it's a very small thing even if it's as simple as a chocolate a silk chocolate does not matter whatever it is give yourself some leisure take a break in between when you're studying for 2 hours i'm not asking you to sit completely for 2 hours and then in immediately sit for the next subject no take breaks in between if you're studying for 2 hours study for 1 hour take 10 minutes break then study for 1 hour take 10 minutes break after that or 30 minutes break after that then start the next sub next subject you have to have proper breaks in between but at the same time try to cover up your you know chapters by next 20 30 days so that you have the rest of the time for revisions all right guys is that clear understood pakka all good so far guys all good are you guys able to understand everything uh, are you finding the tips helpful or am i just talking to myself right now are you guys finding the tips helpful or am i just talking to myself tell me people come on quickly now what's happening 
which state i'm from bangalore i'm from bangalore so will teachers teach term two chapters again yes maria will try to cover up that we'll at least try to do some uh, one shot series and revision plans and all for that all right don't worry about it yes that is my next step people the last but definitely not the list uh, the least is definitely this case we have already sent out a video for all the subjects for solving the sample papers my suggestion is to go through that once if you haven't checked out the sample paper yet or if there's a question that you're feeling a little confused about please check out this video as well the reason why i would tell you is this because i would i generally don't do this but i tell you this is because guys it's going to be super helpful for you guys there's going to be uh you know you will find all of the videos for all subjects for chemistry bio english social science for each and every subject you have the sample paper solved out over here so you guys can check that out as well apart from these apart from these guys if you need more help vedantu is always always here for you guys vedantu's classes are focused on helping you to understand the concept so that you are able to prepare yourself not just to by heart the concept but for you to understand it because if you see the sample papers in physics alone majority of the questions were all based on uh, you know application it was not some direct question there was all application based questions so if you understand the concepts there's a there is a better chance of you to perform well in your examination and that is what vedantu's classes are all about if you guys want i'll just show you one of the replays that happened this was one of the sessions that happened uh, this is the upcoming sessions so if you go to the past sessions you can check out all of the sessions you can download every single notes if you just click on get notes you can download the entire pdf you can see everything uh, the riddle what not everything that is written on this uh, on uh, in that particular session you can check that out as well you can check out the replays of every session whenever you want so if you just click on a replays you can check out all the replays and again these replays are also going to help you to prepare whenever you want and you can also take the quizzes whenever you want if you just click on try alternate replay guys you can take the quizzes even while watching the replay even while watching the replay as well you guys can take take the quizzes and check out the leaderboards and what not so you have a lot of opportunities over here also and yes you will have your test papers you would have your uh, sample papers available over here you will have lots and lots of content that is uh, basically your chapter wise test and test for your preparation for your board exams you will have uh, you know you will have a uh, half yearly test everything all sorts of tests to ensure that you guys are on the right track if you need more help apart from these uh, sessions that is going on if you go to my courses you can even enroll for free for the micro courses as well which would be basically one particular chapter let's say there is a chapter light you want you want more extra help in that you can enroll into those micro courses which is absolutely free and you can check out the uh, you know you can basically understand the chapter one more time even more thoroughly lots and lots of options are out there you guys can even get your doubts solved outside the session as well with the help of your class teachers if i just go to this particular session itself if you just check if you just check these were the number of doubts that were asked 137 doubts were asked in that session and all of that 137 doubts were resolved we will have not only me or not only a certain master teacher but along with the master teacher you'll also have someone called as a class teacher to help you clear your doubts so all you have to do is this people go to the uh, right now let me just open up uh the website i mean the so this is the video that is going on right now yes thank you thank you thank you for the ad so what you do is this guys click on cbse term one crash course now if you want you're looking only for term one preparations just click on term one crash course which would basically entitle the entire chapters from start and revision both the entire thing in the next couple of months you'll be done and yes guys you'll have live interactive sessions test series and assignments you'll have doubt solving inside as well as outside the class the price of this is 6300 rupees for the next three months for the next until your exams are done these classes will be going on for all the six subjects for all of your six subjects you'll be getting at a very very that means per subject you're paying about 1000 rupees or le even probably less than that including all the micro courses it's even more less than that is what you're paying so again guys the coupon code is automatically applied including the coupon code it's 6300 rupees this is the light plan where you don't have the doubt app but if you go clone classic also the same price for classic also it's the same price and here you can even get your doubts solved outside the session you'll also have the doubt app for the same price 
So what are you waiting for, guys? What are you waiting for, right? So all of those details are here. If you want to go for both the term one and term two preparations, both you want to complete the entire term one and term two, you guys can go for that as well. Term one and term two. That price is around twenty nine thousand six ninety nine. Again, it's for the entire year. But again, guys, you don't have to think that you have to pay at once. You have EMI options over here also, about two thousand four hundred and seventy five rupees per month. If you don't want to do that also, you can even try the one month program. The one month course. You see for yourself how it is, and then later, if you want, you can continue with this. That will be around two thousand three hundred and forty rupees. All right. So here is again. There are lots. See, Vedanta is not the only option. To be honest, there are lots and lots of other options also. It's not that you know only if you st study in Vedanta you'll get ninety percent. It's not like that. I would never say that. I'm a teacher uh, at the end of the day. So all I would suggest you is this is just another option, a very good option for you guys to prepare yourself better for your board exams. That is all I would like to say. The last thing I want to say before I take up your doubts is this, guys. Believe in yourself, even if no one else does. Does not matter how many people doubt on you. It really doesn't matter how many people are doubting on you. How many people are doubting on your ability? Because if you believe in yourself, fifty percent of your work is done, guys. Fifty percent of your work is already done. If you just believe in yourself, see, guys, this is what I would say. This is all I wanna say. A person who thinks he can do it is right because he'll find a way to do it. A person who thinks he can't do it is also right because he'll find all the reasons to not do it. Now the question is, which category would you fall under? Do you want to be someone who says he can do it, or do you want to be someone who says he can't do it? But both are right. So it's up to you. You just need to believe in yourself. If you start a chapter thinking that the chapter is too hard, I can't do it. It is not up to me. You will not. You will not learn that chapter. You will find thousands of reasons not to study it. You will try to skip through that chapter. You will do your best, even though you want, you, even though you can do it. You will do your best not to study it, even though you can do it. So, guys, every chapter before you start, tell yourself that you can do it. Tell yourself, if you can't do it, then nobody else can, because. For you also, God has given you two hands, two legs, one brain, two eyes, one nose, one mouth. For a person who is a topper, for him also, it's the same thing. He has two hands, two ha two legs, two two eyes, two one brain and one mouth and one nose. That's it's the exact same thing. So what is setting you apart is the belief in yourself. So my only suggestion is this: believe in yourself. Start with that. Every chapter, every topic you take. You feel like chemistry is hard. You feel like mathematics is hard. Tell yourself it's easy. Tell yourself it's easy. You know, you know, probably watch this movie. You know that all is well. Now, what is that? Uh, three idiots. All is well. Fool your brain, da. Fool your brain. Tell it that it's easy. If you can't do it, then nobody else can do it. If you can't do it, then nobody else can do it. Tell yourself that. Just tell yourself that. That's all. It's all about having that confidence. It's all about giving yourself that assurity that yes, you can also do it. All right. So yeah. That's it. All right. All right, guys. That's all. That is all I had to say. My bashan is done. If you guys want, you can uh, subscribe to the channel for more some for some more such amazing content. Uh, like the video if you guys found it interesting, and uh, share the video if you feel like your friends can also benefit out of it. Right. So that's all for today, guys. If you have any doubts, please let me know. Sir, is uh, is education the only life? No, Kirti. Obviously not. But education gives you a better. You have more choices. You have more choices. You have a lot of choices. You have something to fall back on. See, like that's a very good question, sir. Is education the only way to go forward in life? No, it's not. You have a lot of other ways also. But education gives you that that confidence to do anything in life. Even if something doesn't work out, you always have something to fall back on. It's just a fallback option, guys. See, there are a lot of people who are you know who are running on YouTube. Who are who are running YouTube channels. Who are making a lot of money. Doing YouTube channels, or there are a lot of other people who are doing TikTok videos and getting a lot of money. Are they all, you know, uh, you know, educators? Are they all uh, like PhDs and uh, uh, you know uh, what is that? Uh, are they all PhDs and doctorates? No, they are not. But again, if something doesn't work out, you always have something to fall back on. Education is that. Education gives you that confidence to try something new. It helps you to it gives you the con. You can see if you just you know go on YouTube itself, you have something called as YT shots. You can see a lot of doctors these days. I was just checking it out yesterday. There are a lot of doctors who are making YT shots. Have you guys seen those those before? Doctors giving them you know giving advices of how to crack you know medical exams. Doctors giving advice of what is their uh, what is their life like. So 
again it gives you an op- you have endless amount of opportunities education gives you those opportunities it gives you that opportunity to do something different in life that's all it's not necessary that you have to take a you have to complete your syllabus you have to do your engineering or uh, medical and get into uh, uh, being uh, being a doctor or becoming uh, becoming an engineer that's not the case it gives you a lot of opportunities that's all all right how to come be, overcome a negative thinking see da it's just this see negative thinking is nothing but see it's it's just self doubt negative thinking if you ask me is nothing but self doubt you are doubting your own ability that can i do it is it something that i can do it is it something that uh, you know uh, maybe i am not cut out for this maybe um, you know like why is my hair like this anyways ha uh, yeah maybe i'm not cut out for this maybe there is something that there is uh, it's not meant for me remove that thought first me uh, remove that thought first see see guys if someone else can do it you can also do it that's all if someone else can do it you can also do it your brain has unlimited potential your brain has unlimited potential if i ask you a question from your favorite series from your favorite cartoon or from your favorite let's say uh, tech if you guys like you know if you like uh, mobile phones if i ask you what are the what are the recent specs of iphone 13 How many of you guys know the recent specs of iPhone 13? Tell me honestly, da. It came out yesterday or day before yesterday, I guess. No. How many of you guys know the recent specs of uh, iPhone 13? What are the what are the camera specs like? I think it's 12 megapixels and all that. How many of you guys? Uh, uh, Bionic 13. What is that? Bionic 15 or whatever. Uh, a bio Bionic chip and all that. You guys know about it, no? Every one of you guys know about it. Why? It's not that your brain can't remember it. your brain whichever finds whichever your brain finds interesting that your brain will remember whichever your brain does not feel like it's not interesting no you will not it's just that you have to give interest so you have to change your outlook towards exams you have to change your outlook that is a big process that is a very big process so how to get rid of negativity is just that you have to get rid of that self doubt you have to get rid of that self doubt if someone else can do it then you also have the ability to do it your brain has unlimited potential you just need to build that confidence a little you need to start thinking that yes i can do it if someone else can do it then i can also do it you 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 know thank god that all of you guys are blessed, blessed with good good health and i re- i hope that everyone remain with good health forever you are already above a lot of people because there are a lot of people out there who are struggling for good health so when you're comparing yourself don't compare with someone who has everything even for them there would be something that is missing in their life so stop comparing stop telling yourself you can't do it count your blessings think about all the good things that is there in your life happy life well uh, you know well educated parents your parents are giving you all the support that you need they're giving you a mobile phone or a laptop to watch this computer this this particular session and majority of them don't even have that half the country don't even have that so count your blessings tell yourself you can you can do it believe in yourself believe in your ability believe in your in your in your thought process there's nothing wrong in you thinking that chemistry is hard it is hard if it is hard it is hard you feel it it's hard it's hard but tell yourself that it's not lie to yourself lie to your brain a little because when you do that no it becomes a lot more easier for you to remember and study that concept with a little bit more interest that's all i'm saying all right hc verma is a really good book da hc verma is a really good book it is a really really good book so why parents don't allow their children to fulfill their dreams apart from education kirti it's not that da see all of us know it's just that see it's not that they don't want you to fulfill their you know your dreams and all that it's just that they know that education is something that you can fall back on if something doesn't work out tomorrow if something doesn't work out tomorrow let's say you decide to become a youtuber or let's say you decide to become an athlete if something doesn't work out okay let's say you're you're an athlete you're the fastest runner in your school and you really want to represent india in the olympics a small accident happens you're running you break your ligament you break your bone your career is done you can't run after that you can't compete at that level that you want you could probably run but you cannot compete at that level so whatever you worked for for that past 20 years to become the best you would have lost it in all one second all of it you would have lost in one second so what do you do education gives you a way to fall back even if something doesn't work out it gives you an opportunity to fall back on something which would give you a little bit of ease so let's say that you if it did not work out 
if you have your degree you can at least get a job somewhere and have a peaceful life rather than having a lot of regrets in your life that you know that uh, you could have done it before because the thing is is by the time you are 25 if you if your aim is to become something great by the age of 25 awesome but if it does not work if it doesn't work out 25 is la- a little too late for you to start something new i'm not saying it is late because there are people who have started at the age of 70 80 and have become successful but it is a little too late so education gives you an opportunity to fall back that's all i'm saying all right how to solve questions which uh, is asking in that uh, for any uh, positive integer it's for three Okay, for <laughs> Shlok, I think that the, the best person to answer that would be Harsar. Harsar or Gopal sir, please ask them that. They'll definitely help you with that, alright? So, I want to join the army, but my parents are not allowing, but why don't my... <laughs> uh, see, da, even I wanted to join the army, even my parents did not allow. So, we are in the same boat. High five. <laughs> it's just that they're, they're a little too scared. There's a little too scared. But yeah, I mean, see, the thing is that uh, in army also, you have to tell them, help them understand that there are a lot of opportunities in army. You have, uh, you know, uh, you have, uh, you know, the medical, uh, what would I say, uh, army veterans, the, the, sorry, the uh, uh, med, what is that? The medical arm of army, the medical arm of army. So if you want, you can go, go ahead with that. But for that, again, you would have had to complete. It's not that you cannot serve the army uh, after you complete your engineering or after you complete your, if you go for, let's say that you complete your engineering. Let me give you an option. If you complete your engineering, you have army engineering corp where you're not going to be dealing with infill, you know, you'll not be in the, posted on the border or anything. You'll be dealing with the engineering works all the, you know, building bridges, uh, you know, all of those kind of stuff. So you'd be dealing with a different sort of thing. So army is not all about, you know, uh, being posted in the, in the, what to say, what do you call it, in, in the border, in the uh, line of control or something like that. There are a lot of other opportunities also in the army. You just need to figure out what works for you. So if you just go to the website, uh, if you just go to Indian Army website, you can find lots and lots of opportunities, lots and lots of options, and you keep on getting these kind of notifications. So Sit with your parents and tell them that you do want to be uh, posted in the army as a, you know, uh, you don't want to uh, go with guns and, you know, uh, with, uh, you know, bullets and all of that. You can, you can also have other options. So ask yourself that, you know, which one do you want to go with? Sit and research what and all, what and all different, different wings that army has. There are lots and lots of different wings that army has. Army engineering corps, army medical corp is another one. That is, if you're a doctor, you can, uh, you know, serve in the army as a doctor, as a doctor to, you know, treat the soldiers. Even that is elite. Even that is something that is really, really big. That is also something that, uh, you know, uh, what to say, people would thank you for the rest of your life. You're saving a person's life. So it is not necessary that, you know, you have to, uh, you have to be posted in the LOC itself to be a martyr or to be uh, sorry to be someone uh, to serve the country that's all I would say all right so how to get how to not get distracted uh, Sangeeta see it's about setting priorities distraction is setting priority what is distraction you're studying something suddenly your friend calls you up and tells you that uh, uh, let's play uh, uh, PUBG that becomes your priority then PUBG becomes your priority and studies becomes your second priority then set priorities so your priority right this point of time should be studies, family, then friends, and then play. All right. You'll have a lot of time to play around, guys. You'll have a lot of time to play around. Trust me on that. You'll have a lot of time to play around. You can, you, you can, you know, uh, even when you go to your, even if you go to work, you can still play football. You can still play cricket with your friends in the weekends. So you have a lot of time to play. Right now, your focus, your priority should be studies. Once you set your priority straight, once you set your priority straight, then distraction is not at all going to come your way. You just need to set your priority straight. Set that priority. And this, this, write it down. Write down your priorities in life. Write down what are the important priorities in your life. Take 10 minutes. Think about what are the important priorities. What, at this point, okay, what is your reality? What are the things that you're giving most priority to? And how should your priorities change? Write that down. Trust me, your distractions would be something that you'll never remember again. So, if I started now, will I be able to? Absolutely, yes, Shlokji. Absolutely, yes. You can still get 95%. That is why all these sessions are there. All of these, again, but you'll have to work a little bit more. You have to study for three to four hours, maybe three to five hours every day. You'll have to put in a little bit more effort. But if you're ready to do that, then absolutely you'll be able to get 95% above. There's no doubt about it. 100%. Oh, 
uh, okay it's called as brigadier's arm is it oh is it arish i didn't know, i didn't know that i didn't know that thank you thank you for that so which is better army navy or air force all three are good all three are really good uh if you want to be a pilot in the air force and you should have you know perfect eyesight uh if you want to join the navy then you should know swimming and army is something that involves everything so yes in army also you you can become a pilot you know that that is also an option in navy also you can become a pilot but again it's all about what you want what you feel is more fascinating go with that for me it was army not navy or air force i wanted to join the army but yeah uh, it's up to you <laughs> it's totally up to you just that you know all three are serving the country all three are three one is army which are basically the terrestrial kings we have navy who are the the kings of water and air force you guys know is the king of our uh, you know airborne they are they are like they're always there for you oh i what i uh, is it all right all right trisha ji i'll check it out <laughs> sure da sure kirti no worries no worries so i want to clear upsc please mention few suggestions kushi uh, if you want to clear upsc please start reading your newspapers right away start with your newspapers write down all the important events that happens on that particular day you should have the see uh, it's about upsc is more about uh, you know your aptitude your attitude and your uh, you know your current affairs aptitude attitude and current affairs is what upsc focuses on so start working on that you have lots and lots of opportunities where you can read your newspapers these days you have something called as in short there's an app called as in short which tells you the entire news in this 60 words not even 60 words it'll be like a very small uh, template take a screenshot of it make make note of all those important events in life if you're very very serious about upsc then start with your current affair preparations start with your uh, history preparations your civics preparation from now on itself so that by the time you are done with your degree because you need a degree so that means that two two years of um, college 11th and 12th and then another three or four years of your engineering or degree whatever it is so that's about 6 to 5 years you will have to prepare you you know if you start with your preparations right now you i'm guessing you are in 10 standard so it's 6 years of preparations which means that you'll have a better chance of clearing your upsc that's all all right so is here oh is it are nice kartika how are you da hi ananya what's up eight star ananya ji what are you doing here da <laughs> <laughs> doubt in physics trisha please tell me what's your doubt so what should be in the uh, what should be the qualification or which exam should i give for joining indian army uh sira it's it's depending on uh, what a uh, category you get into for example if you get into ncc there is something called as ncc national cadet corp so if you get into ncc you have a direct entry you have a direct entry which ncc uh, you'll be there in your 11th and 12th so if you have something called as a c certificate you can directly join you can uh, you know directly give your ssb that is your uh, you know your 5 uh, days of interview that is direct ssb so that is for your ncc if you have an engineering degree depending on your marks also you have something called as ssb you can so you can direct directly give your ssb rather than giving your written exam you can directly give your ssb so there are two options if you have neither let's say you have done your bcom or mcom or let's say you have done bca and all that for them you will have to write uh, you know your exams that is your uh, you have a separate exam for army if you want you can also join the nda you can do uh, you can uh, join courses for nda for 11th and 12th after your 12th standard you can directly join the army so there are a lot of options again you have lots and lots of options it's only it's not only one way that's why i tell you if you are very serious about it keep an eye out for the indian army website there will be a lot of notifications that comes out every every month or so notifications would ca- keep coming out you would have two ssbs every year for every uh, category whichever category it is you'll have two ssbs and uh, you know throughout the year you have opportunities that is what i'm trying to tell you if you want to go for nda that is another option in nda you would be uh, after 12th standard nda is after your 12th standard so after your 12th standard depending on your marks how much you do well in your nda you can get uh, you know you can get into uh, uh, ima that is indian military academy that is in dehradun so you can uh, get into that and then you'll be posted as a lieutenant so directly you'll be posted as a lieutenant that's how it is all right lots of options right? like i'm telling you know there are lots of options upsc optionals even i'm not really sure even i'm not really sure about use upsc options all right anything else down refraction of light trisha ji tell me what's it out so could you briefly explain refraction definition trisha refraction is nothing but the bending of light when light enters from one medium to another let's say that light is entering from air to water the bending of light the change in the path of light that you see over here that is called as refraction 
Right? That's, all, that's all that is all refraction is when light is entering from one medium air is a different medium water is a different medium so light is entering from one medium to another the bending of light is called as refraction that's all all right so in my school it's uh, cups and bulbuls oh it's the same as ncc i don't know i don't know about cups and bulbuls i know about ncc though i'm not really sure about cups and bulbuls so how to become ca a yusuf you will have to take an exam for that after your again you have to have a degree for that after your degree is done that is uh, whatever it is uh, account uh, you know accountancy or whatever like you know bcom bca whatever degree you do after that you'll have to take up an exam for ca if you clear clarify if you clear that then you'll become a ca that's how it is all right so last 50 days preparation strategy for icc please sure jagrat all right icc though it's gonna be a little bit lo longer but yes for sure i'll i'll uh, take a screenshot of that and i'll talk to the team and get it done don't worry now so i have classes from uh, what wait a second from 7 30 to 2 p.m what do you do after 2 p.m mogul what do you do after 2 p.m use that time no whatever time you have no use that wake up a little early in the morning wake up a little early in the morning and try to you know uh, do some studies at that time also all right i really have to get a haircut now. anyways what is what is your goal my goal was to get into the army now, but that did not happen <laughs> my goal was to get into the army but i could not get it because of my finger i i don't know if you guys can see this i have six fingers on my left hand a uh, left uh, hand because of that i was medically rejected so that is why i <laughs> i could not join Talk in Canada. Hey, in Matar, big summa or sir. I study in KV ICC, uh, ICC Bangalore. KV I IASC Bangalore. Okay, I've never heard of that. Atheists, I've never heard of that. Where is that? Huh? So I have uh, my physics exam tomorrow. All the best, Rishaji. All the best. Party, party. So we will see web series. Huh? Which web series? Huh? <laughs> oh, the UPSC web series. Ha, huh? there is a web series for that. No, yeah, you can check that also out. Use, use, da. Huh? It's it's okay. It's perfectly fine. So though I'm an army kid, oh, hey, awesome, Trisha, awesome, 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 really, really nice, nice. Sir, so, uh, uh, join K. Sorry, the. Okay, I really don't know. Nushra. I, I, ab uh, uh, join kar sakte Vedantu sir for. Yes, 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 Nusrat Ali, definitely da. Yeah, if you guys, are, if you are serious about your preparation, Nusrat, you can definitely join Vedantu classes also. Again, it's an option for you guys where you'll be. The complete syllabus would be done for all the subject and you'll also have revision as well. So you have an option. Again, I've already told you how to enroll into the course. You can check the, uh, just go back a couple of minutes ago, 10, 15 minutes ago. You can check out the link and everything. I've showed that. You can join into that as well. Again, if you're serious about your preparations, absolutely yes. Uh, ASCT of SAP, I'm not really sure, Yusuf. I'm not really sure about that. I'm not really sure about that. I'm not... Uh, Aim is to become an IIT and why not Krishji? Absolutely. So I've done, uh, I haven't done anything yet. How to study? Anonymous, just start. Just start. Start with a chapter. Start with one. Okay. If you don't feel like studying, no, this is my suggestion. If you don't feel like, you have your exams coming up and you still don't feel like studying. My suggestion is this. One day, today, today, take your textbook and just look at your textbook once. That's all. Just look at your textbook. Don't do anything else. Look at your textbook. Read the content read the index read the index read the acknowledgement that's all close it keep it do something else do your homework or whatever you have to do next day start with one chapter chapter that you feel is most easiest chapter which you feel like is the most easiest which you feel is interesting no start with that start with that chapter read that complete that chapter all you need to do is somehow push it for 21 days guys that's all see that anything becomes an habit habit after 21 days anything you wake up in the morning the first thing that comes in your mind is i need to brush my teeth that's a habit that you have cultivated all the way from your childhood days so it's all about creating a habit for 21 days somehow push yourself to read your textbook somehow push yourself to start with your preparation somehow that's all you need to do because once you start that no once you once you begin then there's nothing that can stop you are you'll you'll be like an engine it'll automatically keep on going you just need to add some fuel in between you just need to you know put some oil in between that's all you just need to have that just start somehow just start somehow start with that today you don't feel like starting look at the textbook next day start with the you know start with your first chapter the chapter that you feel is the most easiest the most interesting like that keep on in, like that from there go on to a difficult chapter keep studying that way and that's all all right 
so which is best for upsc degree or engineering both are good uh, you have as long as you have an undergraduate degree you can take up your upsc there's no restrictions there as long as you have an undergraduate degree you can take up upsc in engineering you would be getting 4 years in degree you will be getting 3 years that's all because uh, you it's just the degree is generally for 3 years like B, bca and all that is for 3 years engineering is for 4 years so that's the only difference but yeah for both it's not like you have an extra advantage there no it's all about how again it's all about your attitude aptitude and how good is your current affairs that's all upsc is all about that yeah so today i was like i'll get all right congratulations anurag ji no it's not because of me it's all because of you your hard work that's all but your hard work Jara sir, we are surprised. Arre, what what did he say? Now what did he say? Tell me the truth, Riddhi. <laughs> sir, please make sure for ICC class ninth also sure. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I'll do that. Don't worry. Oh, right, there's no. It's not like something is best. Huh? It's all about that. It's all about. See, even if you have a, even if you have a simple B com degree also, you can still clear. Uh, I'm not saying that B com is simple, but I'm just saying in comparison, uh, if you even if you have a B com degree also, you can still give up, give your UPSC. There's no, there's no restrictions there. All right. Are you awesome, Kirti? Then why not? Da? Why not? Again, but the the see, if you want to become a singer, you want to become a dancer, your first focus should be to somehow finish off your degree. Somehow parallelly do this, parallelly do this, but somehow get a degree. Somehow get an undergraduate. Da, it, there should. It's always good to have a backup plan. It's always good to have a black backup plan. If you have a backup plan, you'll have confidence also. You'll have the confidence. You'll not be in fear. You'll not be in fear that if this doesn't work out for me, what is going to happen? That is going to restrict you. uh not only uh you know mentally but it's going to restrict you artistically also it is going to you know restrict you a lot when you have that fear that what if i don't succeed in this when you have a degree when you have something in your hand something solid in your hand you will have that confidence that even if it doesn't work out even if singing doesn't work out for me i have another option to fall back on that is all that is all all right are no da no no nothing like that guys you guys it's all your hard work da i am just a medium that's all it's all your hard work it's your it's all your hard work yes mg aryan i'm a south indian da so have you seen quota factory yes trish i have unfortunately i have <laughs> waiting for the admission 11th are are party party where's the treat da rashi where's the treat ah <laughs> i knew it i knew it i knew it <laughs> all okay so that's all that is all i uh, had for you guys i hope you found it helpful i know there is there is only so much i mean uh, i can give you guys tons and tons of advice uh, advice but it's all about uh, how much you are utilizing out of those things that i say i spent almost one hour with you guys just to give you some information about how life is and how uh, your preparation for exams can be done better so utilize it let me know how it worked out if it has worked out if it does not work out let me know so that i'll i'll be able to you know help you guys better there there might be some other solution for your problem not everyone has the same problem so if you have a different problem which might not fall under the category that i just talked about tell me so that i can help you out in that in the best way possible all right yes da i am a malayali <laughs> so i have a dream uh, out to getting uh, after getting I have a dream to fulfill after getting shot. Okay, that's all. See, that's all. So it's all about that. It's all about that. Just have whatever it is your education. Somehow you have to finish it off. Uh, how many of you guys have heard about Muhammad Ali, one of the greatest boxers of his time? Muhammad Ali. Have you heard about Muhammad Ali? Have you guys ever heard? Uh, I don't. His. Uh, uh, he's one of. He is one of the greatest. He's one of the greatest boxers of all time. He's one of the greatest boxers of all time. All right. So this is what he told. This is what he told that. uh you know this is what that is you know when someone asked him that uh, uh should i focus on becoming a boxer a better fighter or should i focus on my education this is what mohammad ali told it's always good to focus on your education because again in boxing in a in a sport where there's a lot of uh, you know there's a lot of uh, hitting involved there's a there's a chance that you might lose something they might there's a chance that you might never be able to compete because of some sort of accident right uh, a, a, a strong enough hit on the rib cage your rib cage is rib cage is broken a strong enough hit on your face your nose is broken there's a it's a contact sport, sport. so there's a there's a chance of you losing your livelihood forever and whatever you have worked for that past 20 15 years to become a better fighter would have all become useless so it's always always good to put your education first after that put whatever whatever it is whatever is your passion put that next but first should be education the reason again i'm not saying this as a teacher but i'm saying this something which is going to be helpful for your future that if that doesn't work out 
for some reason if that doesn't, that doesn't work out for some odd reason it doesn't work out you still have an option to fall back on something that's all that's all all right that's all i would like to say all right yes yes sure jatson andrews yes def we have uh, i'll be sending out the video for light this week light uh, crash code the the one shot series for light will be coming out for icc 10 this week don't worry all right yes 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 look absolutely you can get 95 plus even if you start right now also you can do it so it was something surprise was coming on yeah yeah <laughs> yes yes samita soon soon you'll get to know hi saya what's up da long time saya ji how you doing So today, Amritsar shouted to the Zoe because everyone wrote "Swaming Basanti." <laughs> What is Basanti, da? So uh, yes, yes, absolutely, Kushagra. As Etsy Vama is a very good book because it helps you to understand the concept in very simple words. So yes, it's a very good book. It's a very good book for your reference. Absolutely, yes. All right, Kerala Levadia. I'm from uh, Kayamkulam, Alappi, da, Alappi district. Was it? <laughs> I don't know, Samita. I really don't know. You have to ask him. <laughs> absolutely kithi why not why not why not thanks a lot guys thanks a lot so yeah people that's all for today once again i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something out of today's session i hope this one year that you that sorry this one hour that you spent with me was helpful in some way or another in some, that's all i wish if if i could help out of how many of students attended today if i could help at least five students to make the right decision in life no that's that's all that would be that would be the greatest achievement that i can take from this one hour all right thanks a lot guys thank you for joining see you guys in the next session take care of yourself i believe you have another session with gopal sir at 4 pm so go uh, study some math enjoy some math take care da see you all soon i'll come up with more such sessions so that you know i can give you guys some uh, career advice if you need or something that can help you apart from your 10 standard what else can we do uh, something like that i'll come up with more such sessions so that i can help you in whatever way i can to make your lives a little better all right so thank you guys see you all in the next session yes garshan what's up what's up bye bye guys see you all bye garshan take care da uh, in regular session <laughs> yeah yeah sure sir yeah for sure for sure <laughs> all right then see you guys see you all soon to take care guys bye bye da. see you all enjoy yourself have a great evening all the best for your life all the best for your board exams see you all soon to take care